5 squared equals 25. Mm -hmm. You add these two in line plus plus two equals 25. Good. Well, we're definitely in the early days of using AI, but what I saw in Newark showed the incredible potential. Well, I have no doubt that a personal tutor AI will be a key part of learning you know, for every subject area. And it will just take for granted that you can get feedback on your paper or immediately see if you're going in the wrong direction on a math problem and that the teacher will get the help doing custom things or organizing the class into different groups. You have to choose which one is right. I utilized it to, right now, uh, to do like lesson hooks. Um, to just have engaging ways that I can encounter my students. I've actually used it to create rubrics for the assignments that I've done. Historically, a lot of the stuff is really great for motivated students and not so great for struggling students. Sometimes struggling students are the ones that shy away in class and don't want to ask the question. So Conigo has given them a chance where they can ask a question and nobody has to know that. Well, I really like Conigo. There aren't many things I don't like about it. Maybe there could be like girl voices because there are only boys in there. Did you have any major struggles when you were in middle school? You know, you have teams. They never picked me, and every video I said, oh, he's the math guy. I just kind of played to the stereotype, but at least I'm, I'm good at math. I'm very optimistic that once we incorporate AI and really integrate it, not as a thing off on the side, but with the textbook and having the teachers trained to use it well, we finally will see learning levels go up and not just helping the motivated students, but helping all the students. You got this. What's your dream of a job when you grow up? I want to be a civil engineer. That's great. That, their math is going to come in handy. <laughs> it's great you help the other kids too. That's very nice.